We still low have, key. You still have your privacy. Did you take Amy out for Valentine's dinner? Did not. We did silly Chinese takeout. <laughs> nice. <laughs> I don't go out <laughs> on Valentine's Day. That's for the rubes. Should we yeah, play what I did you either. eat last night? So you had Chinese takeout. Yeah, I had cashew chicken, and I had an egg roll, and it was silly. <laughs> Mm. I had a filet with some uh, shoestring fries, had the shoestring w- fries, yes. mm. had the wedge salad, and the Godiva cake. Nice. Very solid. Mr. Bickle? I don't even know, really. I My wife and daughters were like at uh, volleyball. I think I had a, I made a, a salad with chicken and, and avocado and cheese and a little Caesar dressing. Mm. I, I think that's what I My had. wife made uh, both daughters at softball practice, so we didn't have a sit-down dinner. Right. right. My right. wife made Thai basil chicken. Pretty damn good. Sounds good. Chicken with basil, a little Thai curry sauce, uh, green peppers, tomatoes over rice. Nice. I'd have to stay away from the rice part. Or you would die. You would would die. die. I would literally die. die. You won't have rice even when you're with other people? No, no. I can. Here's the dynamic. I can eat chicken and rice. I just can't take forkfuls of them together. I can eat chicken. Rom, rom, rom. <laughs> you just broke your bike. That's done. I'm sure I broke it. <laughs> That's such a done ski thing right now. <laughs> now it's really broke. <laughs> no, it's not broke. You're full on in the process of breaking right. it. You just gotta you gotta loosen the bottom thing. <laughs> you won't yeah. lay you won't lay on the table and talk into the good. mic. Now I just slide it on. That's enough. Now you can slide it on, turn it, you gotta turn it. This is a debacle. It's unfolding. All right, while here. he's doing that, Valdez, what'd you have for, for dinner last night? I had uh chicken with a I don't think you have it all the way square. I know it's still doing. Uh, with a garlic and green onion teriyaki sauce oh. and asparagus. Oh, that's nice. Oh, definitely smelly pee. Yeah. Stay very, away from him today. Very healthy. <laughs> what are you gonna smell his pee? You, you, would, if you went to the bathroom. Of course, right next but are to you him. gonna be near him? I don't know. Sometimes what? we go to the bathroom together. Travis, do you have nachos again? <laughs> well, even though it was Valentine's Day, Tuesday is podcast night, so I had. A junior bacon cheeseburger. <laughs> nice. From <laughs> Wendy's. Wendy's. Very Wendy's. nice. They are good, though. You get the mini Frosty. I did, yeah. Of course. Is that key tag? Hey, you're low carb today, I see. Good. Hey, Wad, <laughs> what'd you have? I had chicken rigatoni with broccoli. From? Very silly. From? One of those you buy at a Safeway and then you cook it up on the stove. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> right, wasn't. There's no, there was no taste. So it's in like that. pre-prepared. It's pre-prepared. Yeah. Is it a microwave yeah. thing, or oh, you put it on the stove with some butter and you, you know, <laughs> stir fry it up or whatever? <laughs> What's okay. a TV dinner? <laughs> yeah, but a TV dinner you just put in the oven or the microwave. I don't really know uh, a TV dinner that you put no, on the now stove. They, now they have packages of pasta that are frozen. <laughs> uh-huh. It's a dinner for two usually, and you put it in your skillet. Yeah, uh, it was, okay. it was a, like five minutes. It was a dinner for two, and I punished the whole thing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, of course you did. <laughs> with I've a big old slab of butter on top of it. Yeah. Butter, actually, it turns out, is good for you, Cakes. I like butter. butter. I like butter. I like margarine. Like all of the above. Yeah, I don't know about margarine. Yeah, I, I don't know if it's good, good right, for me so or not. JP, we, we took the, uh, the team photo yesterday. You this, were happy about that. Well, I don't think anybody was, but I know Chad Dukes wasn't. <laughs> so we had to stay an extra two hours, and Chad Dukes came in two hours early because it was the one time where we would all be here. Grand at the same got time. It's right in the middle of their show. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So we took some photos. We did individual photos. Although we I will say, before photos. we started, we had to wait for JP because even though he was here for the entire two hours, he wasn't there at noon, which is when we had the little break. I for... got up at 12.03, which apparently was too late. It's too late. Yeah. Too late. I don't know what you were doing. You were in the work. You were in the gym for two hours? I worked out for an hour and a half, <clears> then <throat> I went to get my clothes from the car, and then I took a nice shower. The shower is downstairs because I'll say this. I take a hot shower every morning at my house, but it doesn't get that hot. I don't know what the people that built the house did. Like, I would love to be able to turn it all the way to the left. You could probably get somebody over there. So you never have really hot water. It's hot, but it's not. You want a scalding hot shower? Or as Brett would have said, scalding hot. It's not as hot as I would like. I like really hot showers. In fact, I know know that the neighbor, who is very handy, actually change the settings i don't know how to do that well have him come over and do it. Get it even hotter yeah he could come over and do that but i like it's showers a really where nice i shower looked downstairs. like i had third degree burns when <laughs> really? i came out you like right. them that hot i like yeah. them very what about hot a nice too? warm shower no yeah. warm. it doesn't do it, it usually works i like no. it nice and hot no, really? i took a nice I like hot to sweat a pound or two off <laughs> i actually <laughs> like their soap and conditioner and shampoo like they got a nice setup there i remember talking to dale a year and a half ago and they didn't have any soap or anything like that. And he asked DB and I, what would you do to change the workout room? Because we were the only two people using it. Right. And, you know, I don't know if we mentioned any sort of equipment or anything. But I remember mentioning the soap and he added it. Look at that. Silly. You filled out the, the suggestion only, box. The only problem with the gym downstairs 
is it's very small, the, the locker room. So if you get, say, three guys in there, it'll be one guy on one side and a little bank of lockers, and then there will be two guys on the other side, and if you're not careful, you'll touch butts when you're changing yeah. because you're literally right next to each other. And there's one guy now, he's a new addition to the gym club. Okay. Because it's usually just me, maybe Joe Claire. Right. And now there's a new guy. I know who you're talking about. There's a Got new guy. Nerdy looking dude with there's glasses. A, yes. Yeah. He comes down there <laughs> all the like time. He's like gung ho. He's gung ho. He goes 100 miles an hour on the so stair fast. climber. Yeah. And it's like, dude, what are you you're doing? You're wasting your time. But it, okay, whatever. And then. He just loves to. Be, he's one of those guys that loves being naked. He just loves to be right. pasty white and naked. He's brushing his it. teeth naked or he shave just, naked. Every time That's I walk the worst. In, every time I walk in there, he's just standing at his locker butt naked. You know how long I stand at my locker butt naked for point two seconds yeah. because I just immediately put my drawers on because I don't want I don't want to be yeah. naked. 